Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. We have here a popular item on Amazon and elsewhere sold as jewelry automatic pulse argon gas spot welding machine. This video is about the argon gas the ad talks about. Well, the problem is the supplied welding handle does not have any provision for any kind of gas connection. However, the machine's build quality is good. A carry handle would have been nice. Here's the connector for the welding handle. The center part of the connector is a regular electrical contact. It's not a gas tube. This is the bottom view. It has a nice toroidal power transformer, a gas solenoid valve, and the gas connection to the front panel. This is a closer look at the back side of the front panel connector. Here's a closer look at the 24 volt gas solenoid valve. And here's the front panel connector. The center portion is a gas outlet. As can be seen here, the gas connection from the connector at the back extends to the solenoid valve and then to the front panel connector. I have connected the supplied hose to the back gas inlet and will be testing the gas solenoid directly using this 24 volt power supply set at 300 milliamps max for this test. Now, to see if the front panel connector allows the gas, I'll be blowing through the black gas inlet hose and use this candle to see if there's any air coming out of the front panel connector center hole when the gas solenoid operates. When the valve is off, there is no air output. The candle flame will flicker when the solenoid valve opens up. This is just for this video. I'll be later purging the line with dry compressed air to remove any moisture. The LED inside the solenoid case is also seen lighting up when the solenoid operates. The solenoid draws about 208 milliamps at 24 volts. In this box, we get various sizes of uh, tungsten needles as well as the collets. I think uh, we get three sizes, I'm not very sure, but at least two is evident here. So I have used a slightly bigger one here and left approximately 10, 11 millimeters outside here. If you can see it here, this is how it looks. And uh, another thing, that what I have not done for this test is I have not made it sharp. It is as received from the factory. Eventually, uh, this needs to be sharpened for a good spot weld. These are the default values we get. For AU, which is gold, the power is 8% and the time is 15 milliseconds. But I read in the manual that it is times 3. So I'm not sure whether it is to be taken as 15 milliseconds or times 3 is what 45 45 milliseconds i'm not sure because the manual says that anyway let us now consider that it is 15 milliseconds and this is cobalt and chromium you can see 6 and 18 hybrid 5 and 21 titan titanium 6 and 15 and ortho ortho is 0 2 and 6 and according to the manual, and I have actually practically seen it, when you switch it on, it after a few seconds, it defaults to ortho, I think, to safeguard the equipment because that is the least power and the least time. If you can see, compare, gold is very high. And uh, here the time is increased. So that way, this is safe. So I'm trying it here in ortho, orthodontics. Let me see if I can spot weld a nickel strip to the CR2032 uh, cell, the, the one you see here. Something similar to that because I have already attached it to this contraption because I wanted to insulate the positive and negative of the battery. And I just used a regular uh, wooden clip. And uh, as you can see here, there is no spot welding done. This nickel strip is new 
and uh, I hope you can see that. So I'll do a close up on this. I hope you can see that, but I'll do a close up on this now. Here's a close up of the spot weld I did just now. Looks like even the ortho is a little too strong for this kind of work. This has done a good job, but I think uh, we should stick to ortho setting if we want to do such uh, battery work. As a comparison, what you see on the top here, these are all spots done by equipment meant for such uh, battery spot welding. And you can see those have come out pretty well. This was done a while ago. And uh, trial, I tried this new machine here and it is burning. So these are the old ones and this is the new one. 